Is the Insta360 SMO 4K a tech preview for a possible Insta360 Go 2? Shapes like a credit card, it doesn't look like an Insta360 Go at all, but weighing in at just 30 grams and with 4K performance, does the tech inside the Insta360 Beta FPV collaboration love child, the SMO 4K, give us some big clues about what may be in store for a possible Go version 2? Let's find out some more. Developed to use with FPV drones, the SMO 4K has one of the key Insta360 features that we have come to know and love, flow state stabilization, allowing FPV drone pilots to get ultra smooth video using Insta360's mobile app or desktop software. Think of it as a stripped back action camera or as a naked GoPro, as some people call it. As well as a step above the usual maxed out 1080p that you get with an FPV drone camera and the Insta360 Go, the 4K you can get with this device also has a new ultra wide field of view option that removes distortion from your shots. And it has a 4K capable 60 frames per second, 12 megapixel sensor. Combine that with a 100 Mbps bitrate and crispier space saving video using the H.265 codec. And I'm starting to get quite excited about what this might mean for a possible Go version 2. And there's more. The SMO 4K also comes with an ND filter, which enables you to reduce that jello effect to give more natural motion rather than that jumpy, mushy look you can often get when using your Go in high vibration conditions. You can also put an SD card in the SMO 4K, meaning you can have a lot of memory space to capture video. Essentially, it seems like a super stripped down 1R without a view screen, for example, made very light for use on an FPV drone. So what does this mean for a potential Go version 2? 30 grams is amazing, but the SMO 4K doesn't come with a battery. It needs to be hooked up to one. On an FPV drone, this means it probably doubles the weight to 60 grams. From what I've read, the camera implementation seems a little rough and ready, but that sensor of 4K 60 frames per second, 12 megapixels is exactly what I want in a Go 2, especially with that bitrate and using the H.265 codec. I'm not holding my breath, but I am holding out some hope that this camera gives us a little insight into some good things that come from Insta360 in the shape of a go-to. However, they shoehorn that into a tiny little body. Who knows? What do you think? Have a chat down here below so we can swap views there. Cheers all, be sure to subscribe for more from me and check out this video too. I think you'll like it. Applaud, share, like, so do all the things. I'm Saab Johal and laters in it.